I'm Loïc Le Carré, Chief Winemaker here at Saltani Vineyards. My passion for wine started back in Brittany in France, where I'm from, in my dad's bottle shop. I started to discover wine and wanted to understand why all these wine taste so different, although they all come from grapes and sometimes they all come from one single variety. The only way for me to understand it was to become a winemaker. I worked in France, in Bordeaux for multiple years and then came to Australia. Taltani provided me with an opportunity which I couldn't have in France. The opportunity of growing amazing Shiraz, fantastic Cabernets and elegant sparkling wines from one single vineyard. Which means that Taltani can provide any wine for any key moments in life. Hi, Loic here from Taltani. Today I'm at the Avoca Hotel, just not far from Taltani. I'm just coming to visit my good friend Ian and Alison at the Avoca. I've got a bit of a surprise, but come closer, have a look at that. This is a wine I'm very excited about. This is the new release, Taltani Reserve Shiraz Cabernet 2005. Now, Ian knows his wine and I want to see what he thinks about the wine and I also want Alison to prepare something special for us. Now come and join me, hopefully they're here today. Hello, how are you mate? Ian, how are you? Very well, thank you. What you got there for me? How do you know it's for you? Well, it's a box of wine. Who else would you bring a box of wine for? Fair point. You know what that is? That's the Taltani Reserve Shiraz Cabernet, the 2005. We're about to release it. I just wanted to see what you thought about it. Mate, I'm very interested in that. I've been looking forward to seeing that. So why don't you bring it over here? Let's have a look. Great idea. Thanks, mate. Let me introduce you to my very good friend Ian here from the Avoca Hotel. Ian has been here with Alison for a few months now. Ian, tell us a bit more about what you're doing here in the Pyrenees. Thanks very much, Loic. Well, as you know, um, Alison and I bought this pub, pub about 20 months ago, and um, we saw there was a great opportunity here to support the efforts that you guys are making in producing great wine by producing some good food. So here we are 20 months down the track, and we're getting a really good uh, following and some good clientele coming through who just love coming here to enjoy our good food with your great wine. Hey, Loic, how are you? Hey, Ali, how are you? Good. What have you got for us? Well, that's the new uh, Taltani Reserve Shiraz Cabernet, the 2005. I know you've seen the 2004 here before, but uh, I thought before we released the 2005 to the public, I thought I wanted to see what you guys had to think about the wine. So let's have a look at it. Here's Thanks. one for you, one for you. Great smell, mate. Can, can you tell me a bit about it? Well, it's actually, uh, as you know, it's a Shiraz Cabernet, 2005 bit of a riper season compared to 2004. Mm -hmm. but certainly a wine with certainly a bit of extraction, but great complexity and elegance. Mm. What ratio have you used? It's actually 28% uh, Cabernet and 72% Shiraz. So, you know, the Shiraz give you this earthiness, this plum characters, and the lovely uh, blackcurrant characters that comes, of course, from the uh, from the Cabernet. So, you really get that Pyrenees mint coming through though, don't you? Yeah, that's right. I mean, that's something, as you know, we see in the Pyrenees year in, year out, and uh, no exception for this vintage. And I have to say, for a six-year-old wine, you've got some amazing colour in there, mate. I think I might have some food in the kitchen would you? that would go great with it. Oh, Sounds good. good to me. Hungry? Yeah. Why not? I'll be back. Thanks, hon. See ya. Let's go and have a look at what uh, Alison is preparing for us. Hey, Louie. Uh, what are you preparing smells for us? Oh, it smells beautiful. Got some venison, which I've slowly roasted. You came at the perfect time. Just took it out of the oven after about four hours. Just thickening the sauce. Yeah, yeah. But may I? I think I yeah, go for it. Feel free. Much. That smells mm. lovely. I've served it here with some potato gnocchi. Uh huh. Just finishing it off with some parmy. Looks amazing. But it has been cooking for a long time, as I said, so it should melt in your mouth. It's just got a beautiful weight. Yeah. Great expression of the fruit. Even though there's only 28% Cabernet, that cassis really comes strong. Yeah, it's colour, strong, isn't it? Yeah, we, we, we smelled it before and now, you know, even on the palate, it's there. And uh, you know, what's one of the most amazing things about this wine is it's got quite a bit of oak, you know, it's close to 100% new oak, mm. but you actually don't feel it. I think it's well integrated. Mm. Well, that's clearly, it must have been a beautiful ripe fruit that you were using because it, it's just taken a balance with the yep. oak so well, hasn't it? Well, it was quite ripe in 2005, you know, I mean, it's always the same thing. You need to get the balance right. If you go too ripe, then it's overpowering. Mm. If it's too early, then the wine won't last as long. Yeah. Plus, you know, to carry the oak, as you said, you need something ripe enough. I'm quite amazed, you know, the, uh, the, the oak was actually well chosen, a lot of French oak in there, and that's probably what makes a difference, I think. Yeah. 
But it hasn't got a great deal of char, so you're probably using quite a medium toast sort of barrel, I take it? Yeah, medium, two medium plus toast. Um, that's what also what gives the complexity. And you know, we're talking about before the blend, and the blending is not limited to blending of Shiraz and Cabernet as a variety. It's also a blending of different type of oak. We probably use between six and eight different type of barrels just for this wine alone. Yep. We select the best barrel for this wine. Mm. Best blocks from the vineyard, so best block of Cabernet, best block of Shiraz. And then basically it's barrel selection. The, the three wine makers, we look at the wines. It takes us forever to blend it, but you know, then that's the result of a few it's a years. Fabulous result, mate. It's a, it's a really delicious wine. I can't wait to see what it's going to be like with some food. I agree with that. I'm sure you can smell something nice here. Ah, what have you got there for us, Al? Oh, that looks nice. We've got some look venison. At that. Venison ragu with some potato gnocchi. You can already delicious. smell the flavours to go out with the wine. You can. And enjoy. Just Thank you. Just gonna pop with that bit of cheese. There. Yeah. Wow. Should we try? I think so. Let's go. Perfect. That is sensational. <laughs> that goes well. You can smell already. It goes well with the wine. Mm. And the flavors bring it all together. I mean, that's why we designed this wine. You know, it's a wine made to go with food. That's really what it's all about. You know what I'm getting now that I was expecting, I was hoping I'd get, I'm mm -hmm. really getting that game characteristic, that earth characteristic yeah, yeah. coming through. Yeah, it's true. And it's just been popped out by putting it with some good food. Yeah, no, I, I agree with you. I mean, that is really looking lovely together. Well, I'll tell you what, Loic, Ian says yes. Well, I must say, Loic says yes too. Thank you, Ian, for your hospitality. Thank you to Alison as well. You're welcome. Thank you all for rolling with Saltani, and I'll see you next time.